All right, tell us who you are. I am Carter Clements. I'm the commercial sales rep out of Vancouver Commercial. Okay, tell us your Sherwin story. So I've been with Sherwin for 12 years, uh, going on 13 in January. Uh, I started actually in Florida. Uh, I was down there for a few years. I was a uh, MTP, assistant manager, store manager. It was a uh, res repaint sales rep in a scratch territory. And then I moved out here in 2015 um, as a res repaint rep. I worked as a multi-segment rep and then a different position as multi-segment rep. Um, and now I've been the commercial sales rep since September of 21. Um, it's been an adventure. <laughs> It's what I would say. Um, a lot of stops along the way, and I've, I've learned a great amount at each individual stop. Tell us about the best spill or the worst spill that you've ever witnessed. Um, so one I witnessed uh, in the immediate aftermath. The other one uh, I found out about a week later. I, I went into, it was actually in Florida, I went into one of my stores, and half of the warehouse floor had turned white since the last time I'd been in there. And so asking what they, what had happened, they had a new part-timer they were training with the forklift and they were trying to top stack block filler. And they had the forklift extended and dropped two pallets of block filler. And it covered through pallets and everything, I mean, just half of the warehouse floor. Um, the other one was actually a full pallet of 200 eggshell that came flying off the back of a CTS truck while they were unloading stock. And I pulled up to the store and everybody was out back and they had to actually create like drain blockages so that the Promar would not fall into the storm drains that were in the parking lot. And it, was, uh, it wasn't a great thing, but it was actually rather comical because you had about seven people, including customers, that had squeegees and rags and they were just trying to keep everything from falling down the storm drain. So um, not a great day, but it was kind of a comical scene. All right, when it's all said and done, how do you want to be remembered at Sherwin-Williams? I, I think the the first part is, is being remembered would be a good thing um, for, for good reasons. Obviously you don't want to be remembered for bad reasons. Um, but the biggest thing is, is, you know, at least with coworkers, it's uh, somebody they could count on, somebody they could go to, somebody that would help them whenever they needed help, um, even if you're not necessarily the, the best person for it, but just being willing to, to help. Um, and then from customers, I, I look at that as well. Um, you know, somebody that helped their business, somebody that, you know, they felt was, was a partner to what they were doing and, and was there to, to, to help them be successful. Next up, what has made you want to stay with Sherwin-Williams? Uh, it's a couple things. Um, my dad worked for Sherwin for 33 years, so there's a little bit of a, I guess, a legacy bit um, to it and some loyalty for kind of the, the history and what Sherwin's done for my family as a whole. Um, so there's always that. Um, the people are a big part. I, I, I always look at it as I spend so much time with the people I work with that I really want to get to know them um, and, and be more than just you know, the sales rep that walks in the store, uh, be somebody that they know as a friend um, and a colleague. So I've been fortunate to run across a lot of people that I've developed those relationships with. And so that's always one of those things where it's, I enjoy going to work and being with people and, and that's kept me right where I'm at. Okay, and give us some of your interests outside of work. Uh, as far as a hobby goes, it's golf. Um, I'm well known to be on the golf course on the regular. Um, and outside of that, it's being a dad. So uh, I've got an eight-year-old and uh, my time outside of work is spent predominantly with her and whatever she's wanting to do. Okay, what's the most memorable moment you've had at Sherwin-Williams? There, There's a bunch. Um, I mean, 12 years, you're going to do a lot of things, but probably the, the one that really sticks is the first time I remember walking stage. Um, I had opened a scratch territory and and won a leader's award that year. So that was uh, that was pretty awesome. And then the other ones are, the subsequent times are, are pretty awesome too, but that first one really sticks. Who has been a mentor to you and what have they done to impact you the most? Uh, I've actually got two people that have been pretty significant for me. Um, the first one was my training store manager. Uh, whenever I started, um, his name's Donnie Southern. He's, 
he's been somebody that even to this day, uh, since I moved out here eight years ago, uh, I talk to regularly at any point, whether it's been, you know, a strict kind of day to day advice on how to handle a situation with coatings and things like that, all the way to career advice and life advice and things like that. Um, he's been somebody that has always been there and, and really helped me a great deal. Um, another person and it's, it's, you know, a big part is, is Greg Hubert. I've, I've worked for him for eight years now. Um, and, and a lot of the same type of stuff, but obviously the more like direct one-on-one, -on -one, um, handling situations with work, with customers, and then helping me grow and, and become a better sales rep, um, and a better, I guess, kind of teammate with our, with our people. Uh, he's been integral in that for me. All right. And finally, one message you could give to the entire district as a whole. Um, couple things. I think the, the first part is piece of advice I got from the district manager that hired me. Um, I was looking at kind of next step. I was always moving forward and, and uh, he told me that he needed me to be the best at what I was currently doing uh, for any of that to be possible. Um, and so that's a big piece that it's always kind of stuck with me of, you know, focus on what you're doing and the rest of it will kind of take care of itself uh, in regards to what is career advancement or um, kind of getting to where you want to get. Um, the other part is, is to focus on your relationships and, and your, and your work life. Um, whether it's with the people you work with, um, having good working relationships is a big part of success as a group. Um, and, and that translates into individual success and also with your customers. Um, that's, that's something that it's driven me and got me to where I, where I am, um, and been a huge part of my success. Oh, 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 oh,